Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to practice a picking lick so you can build speed and do whatever it is that you want to do with it, take over the world, etc. So we're going to zoom in now and we're going to take a closer look at what you need to do. Right, so I'm going to use a lick in the A minor scale. It doesn't really matter what the shapes are. I'm just going to start it here on the note B. Alright, so we're doing a three note per string thing and what happens a lot of the time when people approach a picking lick they're trying to play the whole thing in one go which is just it's not going to work if you have a problem area somewhere through that lick you're having to go through the whole lick just to get to the problem area and it just doesn't make sense let's say you have an issue crossing from the g string to the b string right it doesn't make sense to go do all that stuff before you get to that part all right but anyway before we get there i'm going to show you how i would approach learning any picking lick especially at the stage where if you're not really used to crossing strings yet. Now, I'm assuming that you've watched um, my other speed picking video. I'll put it below, but it's the one that's, um, everybody can do this, right? So let's say you've got a good usable tremolo pick, picking technique, right? And you're wondering, well, how the hell do I approach that when crossing strings? Well, this is how you would do it. And these aren't suggestions, by the way. They're not try this out, see how you get it on. This is me, black and white, telling you this is actually what you need to do, period. There is no gray area here. Do this and you will get results. I'm gonna play it through what I would do and then explain it. Right, now that might not make sense to you. What I did there was I only approached one string crossing mechanic at a time. Right, crossing strings for you is going to be a bit weird. Okay, that's why we're breaking it down. Okay, break it down, isolate it so you can make it easy. It doesn't make sense to make stuff hard for no reason. So, that is going to be your first string crossing mechanic. So you're starting this lick on a downstroke, down, up, down, and you're moving to the A string on an upstroke, right? Okay, so this is the first thing you want to get used to. So if you can do this, and you can get your three string, uh, three note string patterns syncing up okay with a picking hand, then this is how you would approach crossing strings. Literally, that was all you would do. And then when you're getting a bit more comfortable with that, add a few more notes onto the A string, because what you want to do is get used to the feeling of stringing together more and more notes at a higher tempo, yeah? Rather than loads of notes, we're just adding a few more notes each time. So once you've done, then, then you can start adding. Now I've got four extra notes there. You could go like this. But it's a bit awkward to um, end it after playing six notes. You kind of want a, another note, which would suggest the start of another beat, right? Like that. That's why I'm going back down to that E note there. Okay, then once you've done that, then you would add the next string cross, okay? Now I'm crossing from the A string to the D string. And that is a different pick picking mechanic than the first one I did. So this one, that's an outside picking mechanic. That's an inside picking mechanic, all right? And that's how you do it. You break it up like that. Then. So after you've got a string cross, you just add four more notes on that same string. And then the next string cross. As you get more comfortable, then you add the next string cross. 
And notice how I'm really snapping them out when I get to them as well. Uh, that's because you just want to get this stuff in your head. Yeah, you don't have to be polite with this stuff. You're not trying to make this lick your friend. You don't have to take it out and buy a dinner and pay a compliments. You know, be aggressive. Go in, get what you want, take no shit. That's what this is about. You know, people fail with a polite mindset. You're not being polite, you're not being nice, okay? Stop being nice with this stuff. That's why you're not making progress. Picking is an aggressive technique when you're doing it at this sort of level. So you have to be willing to sort of go over what you consider your normal boundaries to get this working, all right? I talk all about this mindset in the other video, which I'm gonna to link to, okay? Right, now that is one way of doing it, as I've shown you. Now let's say you have a particular problem area. Now, earlier on I referenced moving from the G string to the B. Now this is a popular, difficult area for people. Sometimes you'll try and get to the B string and you'll just miss it completely. So how to do this is isolate this area, but you've got to remember that whatever string or whatever part you're isolating, you have to play it exactly the same way as it would appear in the lick. So by the time we get to the G, that's gonna be on an upstroke. So we're starting up, down, up. And then when you move to the B string, it's a down. Okay, so you're gonna to have to isolate it that way. It's no good isolating this part and then starting it on a downstroke because that's not how it appears in the lick, okay? However, it can be a bit difficult doing it like this starting it on and up. You can do it, but it's, it's hard to get any momentum starting it that way. So I would suggest adding the D string in front of it. It allows you to get some momentum up, and then when you get to the G, you're really cooking. So the D, that would be starting on a downstroke, depending where it starts on the, on the lick. So you can go, isolate that small section. And that really gives you an opportunity to just slam the pick into the B string and really get that feel right, because that's what you need to do. It's no good sort of ferrying around at slow tempos, just, you know, relaxing your way through it and not really getting the feel of what it needs to be if you want to be able to cross strings accurately. You need to actually get some kinetic energy behind it and really whack that pick in and feel what you need to do to cross strings. This is how you do it. You isolate it. You make it so it's almost impossible to fail. You know, if you've got this, and that's all you need to practice because you're struggling with going from the D string uh, to the G with an outside picking motion, then why would you make it any harder than that? You, you isolate it. So you can keep doing this. Feel that. And you can really push the tempo. So you don't have to stick at these silly mediocre tempos all the time doing a million reps and not getting anywhere, you, you keep pushing what you can do each time. And if you apply what I said in the previous video about keeping your pick close to the strings, everything I said about generating a tremolo picking technique, if you take this with you and apply it now to this, by adding one string crossing mechanic at a time and then adding a few notes after you've done that, and then that takes you up to the next mechanic, everything I'll explain in this video, just do it. And like I said, these are not suggestions. This is what you need to do, period. It's black and white. Just go and do it. If you, I promise you, if you do this, apply everything I say, you won't need to keep watching YouTube tutorials anymore because you will be doing it for real. Okay, that is what you need to do. That is it. End of argument. Just go and do it. And it seems a little bit harsh and black and white and aggressive to say that, but that is what it takes. That is the mindset you need to get something done. Go to my website, we've got a shitload of courses on loads of other techniques and even a load of famous guitar players. So you can go figure out what they're doing. And as I said, that if you figure this stuff out, you won't have to keep searching up how to do this, how to do that, because you'll be doing it for real. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Well, you should find it useful. It is useful because it is the answer. There is no suggestion here. It's the answer. End of. Just go and do it. Okay? So go and enjoy the results and I will see you guys next time.